Well, the whole world was watching as Occupy Wall Street burst onto the scene. The media was reporting that it was a group of unorganized, chaotic uh, folks without any kind of a, a goal or a mission. When it burst onto the scene in Los Angeles, nothing could stop me from going up the highway to, to get involved. I realized once I got involved and I was at the locations inside the tents, that what I was seeing in mainstream media in no way reflected my experience having been involved with documentary photography from the start when I picked up my camera, uh, I knew that the way I could help this movement was to do what I do best, which is to grab my camera and try to reveal the story from the inside, from the Occupy point of view. The first photo I did, I showed up at 7 a.m., I always have my camera with me. I documentary has been my life in photography, and uh, I knew that if I, you know, wherever I go, I take my camera. So um, he was standing outside. It was 7 a.m. He was the only one awake, and he was standing outside of his tents, and he was wearing a bandana. And all you could see were his eyes, and uh, he said he'd be happy to be photographed. And um, when I asked him what it is that would make him happy with this global outcry for change, he had two words, free education. And it was the last thing I had expected to hear this man behind his bandana at 7 in the morning that that was what he was thinking about. I, I was stunned. The same theme has gone over and over from camp to camp in that it's a group of people that are optimist, that are all doing what they know best and trying to change the situation. It's inspiring.